All right, here I come. What do I need to do? <laughs> Straight up. He said he used to do that so many times. Oh, yeah. That's a cute. All right, so that's how you fix a air conditioner in China. You just hang out the window with a rope around your waist. <laughs> been two weeks since the last vlog, uh, got a little crazy here, just with some out-of-town gigs and a, a lot of daytime gigs, a lot of teaching. This week, you know, we went to uh, Beijing to the Blue Note, played an amazing gig, and they always treat us so well there. And so I was going to do like a whole separate vlog just on Beijing, but it's too much trouble. I'm just throwing this all, all this kind of last two weeks worth of stuff. But uh, really fun, really fun gigs. Um, so an improvised gig that was just out of this world. But you know, it's it's. Uh, I really wanted to like try and like vlog twice a week, and just the nature of this uh, stay in China of kind of you know we play on every night uh, can be a little crazy. And so I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the gig wise, just what's going on. And I think next week's vlog, I'm going to take you through a week of kind of like what goes on here. Anyways, so calculations. All right. <clears throat> so home base is here in Hangzhou, really great club, uh, jazz club here for the time that I will be here. Three sets a night, three 45 minute sets a night. So at the end of my time, I will have played 264 45-minute sets. And that's just here. That's not counting Blue Note and Shanghai. That's not counting afternoon vocal methods. That's not counting private students. It's not So a lot of playing. And so it, it's really hard to stay uh, focused and, uh, like, like, work on my own stuff. Like, I... I'm supposed to be doing a solo drum set album mixed with like chi weird Chinese uh, sounds from, you know, out there because uh, that is a loud, noisy world with funny noises. Anyway. <laughs> maybe hippest gigs I've uh, played since I've been here. I mean, they've all been great. This was so well. Um, it's, it's these traditional Chinese instrumentalists that use them and play improvised music. Voice and uh, the, uh, the mouth organ, or it's called a sheng, I believe, is uh, Wu Wei. And uh, this lady, Xu, uh, Xu Fang Xu. Xu Fang Xie. Uh, she plays all these like this one thing that sounds just like a freaking banjo I can't I don't know all the names and then the really long thing and uh, anyways so she played all the stuff and it, it was improvised um, the beginnings were based on Chinese uh, traditional songs and then it went all these crazy crazy places with vocals and then uh, their third member of this group just couldn't be in China sick and lives in New York, so I have to totally hang out with this person too. Anyways, so check some of this out. Whoa! 
And the weird thing was, I, I, I really had no idea what was going to happen on this gig. They're just like, show up, play. Okay, so um, I felt like at the end of the gig, uh, I was ready to actually play the gig. But that's how it always is. But you just you do what you do. And um, a lot of these guys live in, in New York and in Germany. And I hope, I, I, I got something in the back of my head. I want to do something those guys. Anyways. All right, cool. So the next really fun uh, concert we had, uh, we went to Beijing uh, and played the Blue Note. And we had, it was a good, really good crowd. The one thing about the Blue Note, yes, corporate, whatever. Blue Note Beijing, I think, has the nicest sound guys. And they're always, they're always ready for you. Drums are out. Er, er, they're always ready for you, and they're always nice, and the sound is really good. Like, like every time I'm there, it's a killer vibe. And so it was a fun concert, and uh, yeah, here you go.
Thank you.